Here we go. Okay. All right, so right now we're doing best three versus Corey. He's a, he's we are both top 100 players here. This should be pretty good. I should probably make this a video. I might think I will. So let's full screen this. Transform fit. All right, we said Koro first, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, so for Koro, we are gonna go regular open. All right, so we're, we're recording this for a video, so we're gonna do this really quick. I am gonna stop reading chat though, because I, I have the game full screen now. All right, so there's that. Boom, 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 and we're chilling. Let's do it. All right, so welcome back to another BTD Battles 2 video. And today we have a best of three versus Corey NWF. He's a fantastic YouTuber. Links in the description. And we're both top 100 players here, all right? So we're going to be going all out. All strategies can, can matter here. All strategies are possible here. We can go meta strategies. We, we can go meta strategies. We can go non-meta strategies. But Corey does not like going meta. He likes going like Spike Factory with the Darling, all right? He mixes in towers. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do Darling... So we're going to go Darling Spike Factory Boomerang here, which he goes. I know we're going mere strategies here, but his strategy is the best strategy here, right? If you go Sniper, you tend to fall behind because Sniper farming is really difficult on a map as short as this, right? So we're going to pop right in. That. All right. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Let's have our hand on the A button. We're going absolute sweat here, right? So we're going to start equaling right off the bat here. They have the heart. We're going to send a heart back. Boom, boom, boom. Hold down the A button. Start equaling as soon as possible here. We're going to watch our money here. Once our money dips below 750... See, we don't want to lose a little bit of eco, so we, let, we wait a little bit before getting it up. We do, boom, right there. Move it up here. And then we're going to prepare to place on Oban. We're going to place on Oban after round two starts. And we're going to place on Oban right around here. This is the best Oban spot. I watched a top 10 player, and he placed Oban here. And what's cool about this Oban spot right here is he actually reaches across the map, even though he doesn't look like it. So, wait a second here. So, we'll watch our money dip below 650. He has the Oban. So, we, we have an extra, like, $5 in Corey. It's probably not going to matter, but it's good to go for. So, this, we're going to go here. He clips the edge. So, we're going to wait. Boom. There you go. And he does clip, and he does attack right there. So, there's the best Oban spot. Um, we're going to keep holding on to here, and we're just going to watch the balloons here, right? So, that's that. So, we'll watch these blue balloons right here. Wait till they get popped down. Now, we're going to hold off now, okay? We're going to wait, and now we're going to full queue up blues when they come out. Come on. Oh, we still have a little bit more to go. There we go. So now we want to send blues as soon as possible here. So wait, did we send blues first? Yes, we did. Beautiful. There we go. And now we're going to go for the middle path darling here, right? Now, darling, I, I played a ton of games at Hall of Masters here. So these games are so optimized right here, right? Like these games, like so formulaic. And that's, it is, it is a very like, you know, non-diverse meta, right? You do see the same strategies and towers over and over again. Um, but because of that, people really know the strategies down to like everything, all right? We know what upgrades to get and what rounds and what rushes to send and what works and what doesn't. So it's really fun actually. So we're gonna keep going here, we're gonna wait and we're gonna start sending greens on this next round here. So we're gonna keep watching here. There's gonna be space greens right here. So there's the space greens right here. We're gonna watch for the space greens to end. And once they stop coming out on Corey's side, then we'll start going, then we'll go for the greens, all right? So they're sending space panks now, okay. Um, which I don't recommend. See space pinks. They're not as eco-efficient as uh, whites right here, right? See how whites are, are, or yellows, pardon me. Whites, you get a little bit more money out of it, so. Yellows. I meant to say yellows. What am I saying? Okay. I'll cut that. But it's nice because whenever I do something like that, I could cut it from the video. All right, we're going to go for the bomb path here. We are going to leak down because we got it up a little late. We normally would not leak down right there. Um, but I got a little flustered right there, but that's a-okay. We're not going to round 40 on this map. Believe me, we are not going. I would be very surprised if we went to round 30 on this map, honestly. This map is so tricky. Um, actually, but we, are, we do have strategy that can go to round 30. Our strategy is very good at defending, um, actually go, making it to round 30. Because Boomerang is really good against DMGs and BFBs, and the Spike Factory is good against DDTs, you know? And that's the big thing about the Spike Factory. It's a good DDT, uh, Pine Power Tower. And that's why it's still gonna be good after the next update, even though it's getting a small nerf. Alright, so now we got yells here. We're gonna full Q yells here. We're also gonna place out our darling right here to make sure we don't leak down too much right here. And we will upgrade the darlings accordingly. We're just gonna watch our defense here and make sure we're good here, alright? So we're gonna eco as much as we can here. This is a very low eco map here, alright? You can't just go for like 800 eco or something, alright? You usually go below 800 eco because you need to afford the hydro by round 11. Otherwise, you're screwed here. So we got that. Um, we're gonna save the bramble. We can use the brambles, I guess. There we go. And we're chilling. So we're eco up a storm right here. We're gonna start going for these black ones right here. Eco up a storm. And we're just gonna eco, um, and we're just going to space eco until round 10, probably. And we're just going to watch our money. And we need to make sure we have $3,600 $3, by round 11 with um, 
this, all right? So we need $3,600, and then we can sell this Darling to go for the Hydro Rocket Ponds, all right? That's the magic number. So now, looking at our money right here, this is a very short map, and the rounds are much shorter. So we're actually going to hold off right now. We're going to hold off right now. Normally, I would eco a little bit more here. Um, but round 9 and 10 are very, very short, because the Darlings are, are popping the balloons very, very quickly here. So we're just going to wait. Uh, we waited a little early right there. That's fine, though. Let's just play it safe. You do want to play it safe right there. So there go he's going for the Hydro Rock Pots. Notice he has Laser Shock already. You don't need the Laser Shock quite yet. So we can we can actually greed a little bit more because of that. So we're going to do that. Now we're going to start doing yellows here. He's got leads. He sent a few leads. Now he's sending... He's just sending space leads. All right. So now we're going to eco up a storm here. We're going to send a few blues. There we go. And we're chilling here. We are chilling. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. So... This is interesting here. We got I gotta get my head because we've been playing White Wasteland all day. Alright. We've been playing White Wasteland all day. We need to get our heads like back into the Hall of Masters, you know? So like let's think. What works what works and what doesn't work? Number one, um Moabs do work. Ceramics don't really work. Although um it is a little risky. You wanna be safe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eco as much as we can, and then once we get up uh, a sizable money pile, we will get up our laser shock without hurting our eco. And then round 16, I think round 16, what what I saw someone else do and I like to do, you send some greens, all right? And that way you still build up your eco while also building up money. You save a little bit more money that way. And then you get up the spike balls. And the spike ball is super helpful. It's such a good upgrade and it just it's such a good support tower against the Moabs, all right? It's like a it's nice safety net. So that's what we're going to go for here. Watch this. We're looking for a thousand, all right? If, if our money dips, uh, stays above a thousand while we're full sending eco, which it's not yet, we're not going to go for the laser shot quite yet here. So we're going to push a little bit more because round 16 is pretty long here. Okay, one more, and then we're gonna go to green sound. We're gonna go to green sound, and now we're gonna push. We're gonna go for laser shock here to be safe, and then we're gonna go for the spike factor here. Next round is good. Oh, we can go for the more press. Oh, we can't go for the more press. I keep forgetting we have boomerang because I usually like a sniper with this strategy. So, um, let's think here. They got the spike factory down. I am just gonna wait for the more press. Let's see if they rush us here. We don't want to eco now. They eco. They're full sending eco. Do they have enough money here? We're going to set a pretty beefy rush here. I do suspect this will just be a rocket storm or something. I don't know if they're ready, though. They full set eco right there. Pretty gosh darn hard. They're getting that up. They're boosting. They got the mo press. Okay, they're fine. Is mo press enough? I think mo press is enough, honestly. So they're chilling right there. Um. Wow, look at the mo press right there. So mo press is about $5,000. So let's just make sure we stay in the ballpark of that. Was that a good rush? Not at all. We sent way too many mobs right there, and we didn't really force that much. So, I don't like that rush right there, but we're still in it to win it. And our eco, this game is very forgiving, remember. So because we have such a high eco here, we could rush right now with all our mobs, and we could probably still have a chance of winning the game. Like, it's not optimal, um, but you can recover pretty well in this game. So... So I'm not sure what the plan is right now, but we're going to keep full sending. And we have $5,000 in hand. We can afford the Rocket Storm or whatever, whenever, right? Like, we'll be A-OK. -okay. So we're going to put the Spike Factory... Um... I might copy their spot, actually. Let's put the Spike Factory down, too. And because we have the money, let's just go for Spike Balls right now. And it'll start building up um, Spikes, right? Because they are not they don't have any plans of rushing us anytime soon, probably. So we're just going to chill. Yo, Asian Sensations here? What's good? Oh, man. I'm not really looking at the chat, but... <laughs> I should have pinned the... I, I should have pinned a message. I'm not looking at the chat. All right. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. We're going to get up the boomerang here. I do... Uh, we are going to get up the boomerang here. We could have tried to hide it, like, in case they didn't know. But I know their strat, so it's only fair that they know mine, honestly. Like, we got we to gotta play it fair here. So let's do that. There we go. We're chilling. Um, we're just going to eco as much as we can right now. So we're going to eco with whites right now, because whites are a little more cost-efficient. Um, and then we'll start ecoing pinks in a little bit here. Now, what are we going to rush with? We're not going to do ZMGs here. Space ZMGs sometimes do something, but if we do do that, we're going to do it closer to around 30. So we're just going to eco up a storm right now and prepare for DDTs. Space DDTs are probably the scariest thing that comes our way. So um, that's something to watch out for, but we should be good for now. So now we're just full sending and this is chill. This is nice. You know, normally you do see a lot of ZMGs in Koru, but with the boomerang, it kind of mitigates it. You know, you don't want to rush the boomerang here. So we're literally just chilling right now. Wait, he donated? Oh my gosh, hello Poppy. Yo, oh my gosh, Asia, thank you so much for the two dollars. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a beautiful day. Oh, that's so I, I don't know. That's so cool to get a donation from you. Dude, oh my gosh. Dude, when I started my channel, I remember I were watching your videos. 
I like still, I, I look up to you. I like look up to you like legit. So it's like, it's that's so cool. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope you have a beautiful day. <laughs> Thank you for the, hello Poppy. I, and it's great to, it's great to see you. So that's cool. It's cool seeing other YouTubers like, you know, like in and out and stuff. And also well done on the um frequent daily like streams and videos, you know, like that's spicy. And that's really impressive considering you have like an another job to balance it with. But anyway, back to the game. Um we are going to Oh, that popped much quicker. Uh-oh. I would say they have a higher eco than us. 100%. Um I don't know if it'll make the biggest difference, but we'll see. So I think right now, we're, let's go for spiked mines here. Start building up. They got a spike factory up top, which is interesting. I don't support that play. <laughs> I don't see a point in that, but it is only $800. So I guess they did that. I guess it's like an emergency spike factory. They ever goof and like, like stuff leaks up top, but I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, next round. So next round, Oban's trees will suck up the DETs really well, so we don't need to worry about that. They are getting up a spike storm. I guess I'll get one up too. I mean, we have the money. Thumbs up. Oh, they stopped ecoing. They stopped ecoing. Look at that. I think that's too early. Are we, like, are we going to rush each other? I don't think we're going to rush each other all DDTs. There? Okay. I'm going to keep pushing. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think pushing till round 26 is fine. So do this. White hot spikes. Make sure we get the white hot spikes up. Um, we can get up a few emergency boomerangs. What people sometimes do is they send one CMG to try and like bait you, and then they send all our DDTs over the top. So we just gotta watch that. They are ecoing now, and now what? I would recommend ecoing. Hmm. We'll see. I think I think three spike three spike storms should defend most DDTs here. So I don't think either of us are gonna rush with all DDTs, assuming we have enough spike storms up. But we'll see here. So we're just gonna chill right now. Um, we are gonna rush them on round 29. Hopefully they're not listening. They could be listening, but we are gonna rush around 29. <laughs> we'll see they got everything here. They're not rushing right now. Chilling. We got the darling up still. Um they can't have a lot of spike storms here. I feel like Corey knows what they're doing here, so it's like I feel like tempted to like copy them in a way, you know? Um Hmm. I think we could have pushed our eco to round 27 here because we're not being rushed round 28 and stuff. The round 29 is a super duper long round. It is a ridiculously long round. Long round. So we have a little bit more time. Now, how's this game going to end here? We're going to each send each other a BAD. And then the BAD, we're going to pop it down. And then we're going to try and send DDTs over the top. That's my prediction. So let's go for you. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the play. I think that's a good play. Let's go for a bunch of let's go for some zero zero ones just to have him down. We have plenty of time in this round. This round lasts forever. Let's do that. Oh, they're gonna try and force some spike storms out of the way. Oh, big brain play from Corey. Oh, that was a big brain play. Okay, let's sell some. Oh, we're gonna try it again. We're fine. 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 Is that an all out? We'll find out. Our, our spike storms are still up. Oh, it was a lot. GG right there. Oh, man. So. So, good game right there. So, what I want to know what happened right there. So, that was a really big brain play. All right. He baited the spike storms out by doing that. But I saw that was happening. So, I immediately sold those spike storms and started going for other ones right there. And spike storm is so powerful, especially the tower boost right there. So, GG right there, Corey. Crazy game. All right. Oh, yo, Megalix. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the membership. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for the $2. Just read it like uh, glancing through the chat. Haven't been in many looking streams. Yeah, I know. It's cool to see you. <laughs> All right. Let's GG right there. Good game. Corey, that was a, a beautiful game right there. Love that. That was such a fun game. Um, Do you want to do Glade next? 
Glade is going to be a harder battle. We have... Glade is going to be a harder battle here. And we're going to go Sniper this time just to divvy things up. Even though I do like going Boomerang on the map. I would go Boomerang against Cory, but I think Sniper... Hall of Masters people go Sniper. Hall of Masters people actually go Ninja on this map. It's actually crazy. So... And right now, if you guys did just join, we are doing um a best of three versus Corey NWF. Watch Asia try to snipe for a vid. Yo, Asia, if you want to battle for a vid, I got you. Although I do run meta though, so we have to sort that out. All right. Glade, we want to go. I was about to think, do we want to go Spike Factory? Of course we want to go Spike Factory. All right, let's go. Let's go meta, baby. All right, beautiful. A lot of whole masters players do go ninja on this map, and I don't. Or they go engineer actually. They go engineer um dartling uh, ninja. That's what people that are snipe. No, they go spike factory. I don't know. Most people go engineer, but um, I just feel weird about the ninja on this map. Just doesn't have as much room to breathe. Whoa, is that the boat? I've never seen that. That's dope. <laughs> oh, he has more mastery. Oh, you win the mastery battle. Okay, let's do it. So they got Darling right there. Again, we're going to wait until our money dips below $750 before getting it up. We're going to move it up here. Um, yo, wait. Maybe we can, like, get Cory to emote at the wrong time. Like, round 11, we get him to emote. Then we rush with purples behind his back. That's the strat. Oh, wait. What? He upgraded the Darling. Why? Ooh, okay. Interesting. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to chill. Darling is actually so good on this map. You don't need to upgrade it until round 3. So we're just going to chill. We're going to wait. Go for you. He's got Ice Mastery too! What? <laughs> nice, okay. So we're chilling. They got open right there. We're very even game. This is gonna be a very even game to start with. Shh, Aluki and he can hear you. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all the mastery. It's just a huge showcase. Thank you, that. Wait, Corey, if you are listening, send send the heart emote. Oh, we gotta send blues faster. We didn't send blues very fast there. Oops. Or if you're listening, send the heart emote. You can do it. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Now we can distract Cory, because Cory's listening here. So what we can do is Cory, there's a ghost behind you. Alright? There's a there's a big scary ghost behind you. Boom! Now we're gonna win. That's too dirty. I, we're playing dirty. Okay. <laughs> Waving. All right. Wow. Okay, we're chilling. See, this game. This, this game is very like like last game. I was commenting more, but this game. These games do get very formulaic right here. So I don't have as much to say right now. Bum bum. Yo, Skippy Chubby, welcome. I'm like barely glance at the chat. So basically whenever I have to look at the chat, I have to like switch to another tab to do it. So it like takes a second. Okay, bottom path. If you aim your darling correctly, it's a little wonky, but if you aim it just like this, it should defend all whites. And Owen's brambles are super good on this map. Owen is super duper good. Like his brambles are good and his trees are good. And he's just, he's just so solid. And the tone is also very helpful. Okay, we're gonna try whites a little early here. There, that's there. We go and chill. Also, what we want to do is want to place a darling right here. Also, we want to place a darling right here just so we can prepare for round seventy. Just so we prepare for round seven. Round seven. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is darling spot. Interesting. Oh, we did set yellows very quickly. Uh, we might need to get middle path on this one. I think we do. What I'm interested here is Corey said he might go Boat on this map instead of Spike Factory. And that intrigues me a ton. Boat is really, really interesting on this map. But honestly, Boat's probably pretty good. The only thing about Boat is it wouldn't, it's, it's a very like singular tower. You know, it can defend one ZMG. It can defend one DDT. It can't defend multiple really that easily, you know? And that's where Boomerang comes in. Boomerang does a great, great job against grouped um, ZMGs, but against grouped DDTs are going to be very difficult for Corey here if he has Boat, Boomerang, Darling. So that, that's what I'm interested in. Also, we are echoing a storm here. We got we to gotta hold off a second here. And Corey's still echoing. There they go. They go Space Eco. Okay, we both, we both got to afford the Hydro in time, right? <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. 
Hey, oh, don't aim correctly. Okay, let's do it. We're shred. It's feeling pretty good right now. It feels nice when there's not stakes. Hall of Masters, it's like all spooky because if you lose, you're like, you like go back places. But right now, it's just a chill game. Just a chill, friendly little match here. All right, we're gonna, you could like that. We're gonna push it a little bit. Okay, did math correctly. We're fine. We're gonna clear both obstacles just to be safe. I don't know. A bunch of people don't do this. I like clearing the obstacles though, just because it feels fresher. I don't know if that's op. I don't think it's optimal. Oh, it's not optimal. I shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be doing that. If we really want to eco just a little bit more, we probably shouldn't do that. But it's okay. We're still in it to win it here. Now, when we want to start sniper farming this map, and I'd say around round 16 or something, we'll start getting up the sniper and stuff. We'll go for maybe like a um, just like a, a, a sniper just to get up in case they rush with mobs. This is a very like. You usually see a mob rush on this map because it's very tempting because it usually works. A lot of the time, people lose to the mob rushes because it's such a short path here. So we should expect a mob rush round 17, round 18 here. So let's start. Let's just watch our eco here. So we're going to eco with um, whites a little bit here because whites are a little more spaced. Let's build up a little bit of money here. Um, I don't know. We could go with yellow. I don't know what's, what's most optimal. Yeah, look at our brambles collection. We got a huge brambles collection out here. They got one too. Look at that. All right. Okay, focus firing. How much? We got enough for laser shock. Beautiful. Okay, so Rocket Storm is going to be the, the biggest thing. We just have to remember, Rocket Storm at any point. So we just need to make sure we have enough money for the Rocket Storm. But if we really want to go crazy, we can also try and use this. There's, there's multiple options, but we have to fully commit to them. We can't just put like a 000 sniper and a 000 spike factory. We have to fully commit to one or the other, right? So let's just chill here. We're going to go greens now, and we're going to put a spike factory. We actually can fit one in the back, which is great. Okay. Um... Well, let's just let's just get this up right now. So we're gonna send greens right now. They're gonna continue full setting right here. They got the spike factory. Okay, so they got spike factory boomerang for sure. Um, see, we got enough money for this. Spiked balls. There we go. We're chilling. Oh, um, let's see. This guy has enough right here. They could get the boomerang. The boomerang is like five thousand dollars. So honestly, I'm feeling two Moabs next round. I think we could really throw them off here. So we're gonna go back to yellows really quick. One, two, leads. I don't think Leds will do too much. I don't expect this to take them down here, but we shouldn't see a tower boost here probably. I, like they need $5,000 and they actually were ready. Look at all their money right there. All right, they had the money right there um, and they will be fine right there. They did tower boost though, okay. A tower boost is not that crazy though. Like forcing one tower boost, like if they were, had zero tower boost right now, we would be in a good place. But what are the odds to use all three tower boosts for this game, right? Like it's okay, you have one as like a safety boost, right? Now, I gotta keep in mind, the reason we went Sniper here is because of main Mob here, alright? Boomerang is good, but main Mob kind of replaces it. It's really good, and it defends DDT. So, Sniper is better in that way, and also, you can Sniper farm with it. So, we're gonna eco with Yells right now. They're gonna eco with, um, Pinks, which are less efficient, which is great. Which are less efficient, even though they will give more in the long run, but since we have Sniper, we can actually e continue to eco with Yells here. Um, we have a ton of money here. It doesn't look like they're gonna rush us. When you're full sending Pinks, you're probably not gonna rush anytime soon. So, let's, let's just go for the Sniper here, and let's, let's get going. There's a Sniper farm. And now we're going to start spamming two here. We got to watch for a rush here. All right. But we have a tower boost. And we can also technically sell the sniper whenever. We just don't want to. Right. We also have to remember elite sniper this time. Because we forgot about elite sniper. The game earlier. Chill with this. So what do we have to worry about here? BFBs could be really bad here. We could probably expect a BFB here. Um, in that case, we'll get up a main mob. I want to go for one more sniper here. Which is a little bold here. Because it's a very long round here. Yeah, I'm going to try and go for one more here. We're actually going to stop ecoing. We're literally just going to chill. And we're going to start saving up a little bit here. Because we have to bend the, um, the next round here. Let's see this end of BFB right here. They're continuing to eco here. And they stopped ecoing for a second here. And when you see them stop ecoing, they could be rushing. They could also be getting up defense here. But they could be rushing here. So we'll see if they send a BFB. Um, and they're sending panks. So they did not. So we're literally just chilling right now. So this is going to allow us to sniper farm a ton here. So I actually think we're in a really good place. Um, we got to see a ZMG. ZMGs are a much more common rush here. So... I do kind of expect one of those because it will delay our money a lot and it is pretty much worth it on this map. So we'll see. We'll be sniper farming here. Um, we'll go for one more. No, nah, this round's ending. Let's just chill. All right, we're going to chill and see if they're rushing us at all. They'll rush us at all. We'll go for a bottom path here. Let's see. Here's what I do. We're going to try something kind of dirty here. All right, this is kind of not good. We're going to balloon boost. Let's see if we force any defense. No. <laughs> 
Nice job, nice job. Okay, so it looks like they're not rushing. I'm not rushing, actually. So we're gonna look for the sniper on the lowest cooldown. So this one right here. Oh, they are rushing. Okay, we're not going for elite sniper here. So we're gonna go immediately for this. It's fortified, actually, which is great because it delays our money. And they're gonna all out right here. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Just gotta play it safe here. This this, this is sketch, but we just gotta play it safe. We're fine. This is their all out kind of actually. We need rocket storm. We need rocket storm, otherwise we lose. Oh no, the lag. Rocket storm. Rocket storm. Rocket storm. <laughs> Come on. Trees. Okay, we need more spike storms here though. There's two there's two ZMGs in there. Sell, sell, sell. I think we lose to this, but we'll see. Yeah, there's too much stuff in there. I should have seen that coming right there. Really good rush right there. That's a really thorough rush right there. GG right there. So what could we have done right there? So what could we have done right there? We could have sold one of the snipers and stuff. I'm sure there's something we could have done right there, but I have no idea what it was. But GG right there to Corey. And stuff. Oh my gosh, we got to do it. Okay, yo, sorry about that. I'm sorry, Asia, I have to, I'll donate you. Oh my gosh, Corey, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. Why say Corey? Cody, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a beautiful day. And OJ, thank you so much for the dollar. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the $10, C-Frame Z Gaming. And yeah, GG right there. It was laggy, to be fair, but that's what happens with the Spike Factor. We could have seen that coming and stuff, you know? So, GG right there. He says boat time and boat, wait. Garden, right? All right, so here's the match of the century. Can we win the best of three here? All right, good luck, Corey. All right, so when on Garden, a lot of people do go Ninja and stuff. We got to go Spike Factor in this one. So we're going to go Spike Factor. We're going to do the same thing. But Garden is a better Glade for our strategy here. I'd say we have an advantage now, except they are going to go Boat here. And it is a wild card here. So hopefully we win this game. I'm going to be honest, I've kind of been acting like I'm good. To be honest, I've kind of been talking to Corey as if we're going to beat him. So I hope we can win this one because, like, that'll be kind of embarrassing if we don't. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's use a taunt. Match of the century. But yeah, C frame C, thank you so much for $10. That's super kind of you. Hope you have a beautiful day. Um, and I really appreciate the donation. That's super kind of you. And thank you, OJ, as well. And Asian. All right, take a deep breath. We're going to play exactly how we did last time, except we're going to expect around 24 rush, 2 true rush this time, all right? That rush did catch me off guard. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but it was a good rush, but we can defend that. And especially, this map is a lot longer here, so we should be a little bit easier. So we're going to chill with this. Garden is our map. Garden is one of those maps where I'd say, like, I feel confident. Like, if I was going against, like, the best player in the world, I would say I feel most confident on Garden and probably Garden. You know, Garden, Core is also a really good one, but probably Garden. But look at the decals. That looks so weird. Look at this. The I love this pixel smoke. I love this balloon boost. It's so good. Okay, we wait, we wait. Blues. Yes, perfect blues. Look at that. Nearly. Haha. -ha. Well, little, little. We could have sent one more set of reds in there, maybe. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. 
Round four lasts a ton, a very long time. We have a bunch of greens to go, so we'll wait about 20 seconds probably, and then we'll start equaling the greens here. I'm focusing solely. We're ignoring the chat. We're just going full on, just sweat, just like like just. We gotta win this game, just for the pride. Because if we win this game, we'll have this for the rest of like eternity. You know, like if Corey beats us. A thousand times in a row after this best of three, that's fine. As long as we can win this one match. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Okay. So we're chilling. I uh, might start going with whites a little bit earlier just to send more greens. But we'll see. We'll go one more set. It's a green here to build our eco up a little bit more. Boom. There we go. We'll start going whites. We're going to watch this. Very short round here. And we're going to wait. We're going to start going for uh, blacks here. There we go. Let's we'll start doing that. Um, we're going to place down our extra dartling right here. Beautiful. Chilling. So this guy is Boat Spike Factory probably. I think it's Boat Spike Factory. It's a Boat Boomerang. It might be Boat Boomerang on this map. Except I, th I expect Boat Spike Factory actually because Boat Boomerang feels like too repetitive. They feel like do they say they do the same thing. Well, not not necessarily, but I don't know. Okay, we're chilling. We forgot to send yellows again. That's not good. All right, there we go. Now we're sending a ton of yellows here. Um, we have both Dartlings up. They got their Dartlings up. They got a ton of Brambles. Their spots are interesting. I don't know what the best spots are on this map, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Darling is so strong. It like just, it pops everything. There's no problem. All right, do that. They're going to start using whites again. We're going to do, we're going to try and push. We're going to like put a few, look at this. We're doing space at that. So we're going to use full set of the yellows here. And then you add a little bit more of blacks or whites at the end here. Because those are more cost efficient. All right, full set right here. And the magic number is 3,600. We're watching our money count for 3,600 here. And round nine's decently long on this map because we're not popping the blues instantly, all right? They have some time to come out. So we're chilling, watching our money. What some people do is they do regen uh, zebras on this round, but I'm just going to save right now. Okay, we're chilling. Okay, we can do a little bit more, a little bit of space here. They're going to send. We're fine. Okay, Hydro. Oh, you saw that glitch bullet right there. That's like a nerf bullet. You guys see that? Interesting. Okay. Anyway. Let's keep it moving. Let's go for some yellows here. So now we're going to eco up a storm. We're going to do the same thing as last time. And then we're going to go for the supply drop on the bottom here. Um, If they all out us this time, we're going to be a little bit more on our toes. So I think we're, like, we're going to do the same thing as last time, but just don't go for as many supply drops. Um, literally just have money on ham. On ham. <laughs> Um, but with spike storm, we just need to get up like like I'd say five spike storms and then use them sparingly. Last time we used all three spike storms and they did a really good job. Let's just use like you know two spike storms for two spike storms plus a rocket storm per ZMG and we should be okay here. So we'll do that. That's the nice thing about having the ninja. The ninja is really nice because it hits a sticky bomb on each Moab, like one by one, you know? And so it's actually really consistent. So I almost like, it's almost like cleaner than getting up um, a spike factory, but spike factory is really just nice. Look at this guy's, look at this guy's, look at Corey's darling spot. It's interesting. Oh shoot, we got to go down a little bit. Boom, boom. Go. All right, so they full sent eco last time. We're gonna full sent eco too. If they rush us with round seventeen mobs, I think all we have to just go for a three zero two sniper here. All right, because we can we can play a little bit more. We can push things a little bit more on this map here. So we're just gonna full sent eco right here. We're gonna watch and see if they rush us here. And three zero two sniper with a tower boost should be fine here. We could also try and go for rocket storm. They stop ecoing actually. Let's see if they send us anything. They're gonna clear that. What you got? Boat. Okay. They're full sending. So we now have a small eco lead. And with our eco lead, actually, I'm going to go for the spike factory. Boom. Three. Let's just get that up. All right. Perfect. So now we have this. And what's great about the spike factory, actually, is it's like a cash. It's like emergency button. This is $4,000 right here. We sell it. One eco boost. And we get up the hydro rocket pods. And we're good. Or the rocket storm.
And it looks like they're not planning on rushing us. Um, I do think this guy is boom right here, so we're not going to rush. Although they could just boat pull one. I don't think it's worth rushing. It'd be just such an easy defend. Although we could send one Moab just to force like something. Hmm. Whoa, they bo look at the boat mastery stuff. That's cool. All right, so now we have seven thousand dollars on hand, which is really, really nice. All right, that's gonna help out a ton. Um, let's pretend they are gonna lose round twenty-two. How would we play this differently? I'm still gonna go for one, just cause I, I wanna. This is part of the strategy, right? So let's keep doing that. Oops. So we already delay our eco a little bit here, and honestly, let's stop ecoing. Let's just stop ecoing at this point. Um. Normally, would push eco, but if they're going to allot us, our eco isn't going to help as much. So we're just going to supply drop. Because supply drops we can sell, eco we can't, right? So let's just supply drop farm as much as we can right now. If they rush us as one BFB here, all we have to do is get a one main mob here. They do stop ecoing right here. We're going to wait. We're actually going to go for one here. And it looks like they're not going for the BFB here, which is great. All right, so we're just going to chill right now. There we go. Um, do we want to clear the statue? Not yet. We're actually going to conserve a little bit of money right here. And let's go for one more here. And then we're going to start. We're just going to watch for the um, all out around 22. I got a cannon ship up. Okay. Chilling here. Brambles. Alright, let's see what we got here. Should we send them one here, honestly? And they're just full sending eco here, actually. They're not actually rushing us. So if they're not gonna if the minute we see them stop ecoing, we're gonna stop too. Alright, we're gonna we're just gonna like let's just watch it. But if they're full sending panks right now, we're literally just gonna chill here. So oh there's a break in there right there. We see if we see a significant break in the panks. Then we know what to do. By the way, I do want to... By the way, I forgot to say this. Corey is on mobile right now, by the way. All right? He is on mobile. And so that break was probably just from placing a tower. It is so difficult on mobile. So huge props to Corey. We have a huge advantage just by being on PC, by the way. I'm just going to throw that out there. Now, since this guy's not rushing us here, we can actually go for Elite Sniper here. So I'd say we're going to do... Let's find the next best closest one. Let's say right here. This one, we'll go for Elite Sniper there. Oh, we're chilling. We'll go for trees. And now we're chilling. Now we have a really nice money pile here. So I, it's looking it's looking pretty good. Um, I don't want to speak too soon, of course. Uh, as for the defense, both of our defenses are very weak. But their defense is super weak. They've been full sending eco here. So we might want to send them something just to um, force something. But they do also have money built up at this point. So we're actually just going to chill. Okay. I'm like talking out loud. That's, that's how we do this, huh? yeah we got a ton of money here like our eco we did not eco as much as um sometimes i do but like honestly like 2200 is really really solid like we're doing just fine and look at our snipers we have tons like we could sell this for so much money right now so honestly if they rush us all out right now we could just get up a mad so no worries Okay, so round 25. Round 25 is decently long here. We have to start preparing for DDTs here. So what we're going to do is we're going for Elite Sniper. We're going to go for Top Path here. They're going to get that for the DDTs. Um, and I'm going to go for a little bit of this. We go, go for Full Metal Jack and all these. And that's just going to help out against DDTs a lot. All right? It's just like a, a very cheap, but it goes a long way. And it also just helps with the pine power. So boom, boom. There we go. Beautiful. Um, and we are going to Sniper Farm a little more. I like Sniper Farm pushing it a little bit more here. Um, is this guy going to defend a BAD? I don't think so. Not easily without Mad. Um, so I expect a DDT all out, honestly. We'll see what they do here, but we're going to, uh, sniper farm a little bit more here. And here's where Ninja would really come in clutch, actually. But Spike Factory is a little bit more secure, um, helped us get this far. So that's fine. Do you, we don't get any trees. Okay. So we're going to chill here. Spike Factory, we got to start, start preparing. We're going to clear the statue here. We're just going to place down a bunch of Spike Factories here. Boom. 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 We'll also go for some snipers. Chilling. Normally, you could sniper farm more if you're facing another sniper farm player. But since we're placing Corey here, we're going to like cut it a little bit short. Keep you in first. Okay. So if they rush us all out here, we, we need to sell everything stat. But they're still egoing here. This guy's... Oh, they stopped egoing. Okay. I expect this guy that we expect him to stop equaling here because we know this game's not going far past round 30. Round 30 is going to get very sketch here. This guy, I don't know how much money they have. I mean, eco is good and stuff, but sniper farming is amazing. Sniper farming is OP. And I want to just say this really quick. I do think we have, we have a huge advantage here. Um, 
yeah, we do have a huge advantage here. But we got Pirate Lord. We got all these bow poles right here. Um, for all out DDTs. Honestly, I don't think they defend all out DDTs super easily. Like maybe if they got the mad and stuff, but honestly, we could just try that. So let's just let's just do that out of nowhere. Boom. And I don't think they defend that. They can bow pull as much as they can right there, but it's not going to be enough right there. And we do take him down. And they're starting their rush right there. Oh, man. That's a secret rush. I think that their strategy is really weak to that. Honestly, I don't know there's much we could have done right there. If I was them and I was in that strategy, I think the, their only hope was getting up a mad right there. Either way, GG right there, Corey. Oh, my gosh. Those are some great games right there. I really appreciate it. I'll link these shells in the description. Hope you guys have a great day. And thank you guys so much for watching. Brush your teeth. All right, 40 maybe. I don't know if we'll use that. We'll see. Probably will. GG right there. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, Corey. Okay. GG. Good games. Yeah, I went boat boomerang for the longest time, so I guess I knew the weakness of it right there, you know? <laughs> it's kind of cheap. Um, also, I cannot believe you're on mobile. I can